is not performed by generating force in the spine. That's not what it happens for, right? That's called a Zercher deadlift. I think it looks awesome in YouTube videos. I think it's an awful training technique. What the spine is really made for is resisting motion. And what the spine musculature is really good at is becoming, taking this, this mobile whip, this collection of vertebral bodies, and locking it into a solid stack, right? So what we see this athlete doing instead is pushing those hips back, maintaining the neutral spine, and driving through. So when people say lift with your legs, I see the most comical stuff. Everyone, you know, I, they know, well, I'm in a chiropractic office. He told me to lift something up. I know what to do. You know, I'm gonna keep my spine super straight. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's how I lift things. No, it's not. You liar. Um, you can keep your spine straight and have dynamic hips at the same time. It's not hard to do. You just throw your hips back. You know, you're gonna knock, what I tell my patients is you're gonna knock the lamp off the table. Every time you're at a party, you pick up your party, you boom, lamp hits the ground. Don't fight that guy at his parties. That's, but that, that's how it's done. You don't move your spine, you move through the hips. You bring that chest parallel to the floor. Uh, the reason why I bring up the point of flexibility versus stability is um, more research on that is, is very relevant. Um, it would appear that uh, spinal flexibility is not helpful. It's not useful in injury prevention. For the same reasons that I'm describing, um, really, your capacity to reach a new end range will just bring more of your tissues to tension. Um, but that's, that's kind of speculative. What we can say from, from the research done by Stuart McGill at the University of Waterloo is that um, it's, it's not nearly a factor that we thought it was trying to enhance range of motion through the spine flexibility. Um, what's far more relevant is the capacity to be able to lock into place and to have balance. So imbalance flexibility is a precursor to injury. So if you notice that you're able to go one way way more than another, well that's worth spending a little bit of time on. But it's not a worthy goal just to, for the sake of itself, try to enhance lumbar flexibility. Yeah. Pretty interesting. I'll show you what I like to do for, um, for a warm-up, in addition to that little rotation of there. Um, when I was mentioning, um, when I, was mentioning I, I like to work some extension, spinal extension, into a warm-up and um, uh, rotation that's just shy of the end range. Um, I do this before every time I, I work out. I do a, a scorpion, scorpion pose. Um, do you guys know which one I'm talking about? Uh, I didn't invent it. You're, you're going to recognize it once I start doing it. I want everybody to lie face down from a T. Bring one foot to your opposite hand. It's okay if it doesn't reach the hand. Just go toward the opposite hand. So, once you do that, you've established some extension of the little back, some rotation that should be very well short of end range. Now, to take some of that rotation out, and have your hands straight down, that looks pretty tough on your shoulder. There you go. Now, once you look into your other hand, yeah, from the side, the, not the side that your foot's going to. Look into your hand on the side that your foot came from. So you'll be looking right here. And now keep your, your face glued to that hand. Raise that hand up in the air. Go until you feel your opposite shoulder and chest come to tension and, and freeze you up there. So I'm bring this arm out so you're kind of like a T-shape here. There you go. You don't have to hold this one long. I think of this kind of as a moving, moving pose. And now switch sides, get head down, back down. Now you're at T again, bring your other foot to your other hand. I do this one personally, I like, I like to do this one uh, five times so I go through both sides. So just keep on going through a couple, couple rounds that you're gonna work out some of that nasty long back touch you're doing to yourself while you're sitting still so long. Do you wanna try to be a little Christopher to look at this? <coughs> well, there would be a little bit because that foot's going to get that um, that extension moment going. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, one thing that I want to talk about is the finite daily capacity to perform work. Okay. Every tissue, like we were talking about, I kind of alluded earlier to how your tissues have that sweet spot where they're getting like their optimal amount of stimulus to, to enhance the growth and 